Namaste and welcome to 103FM's Diwali Panel. My name is Siddhi Sanka and I am a recipe developer for Chata Food Products Limited. And my name is Deepa Yankaran. I am a hairstylist, bridal consultant, entrepreneur and I am also a brand ambassador for Chata Foods. So, today we will be making Sahina Takari or as some like to call it, Curry Stew Sahina. The first and main ingredient for today's dish is dashin bush or some can use spinach leaves. Our dashin bush was freshly picked and what we've done was that we removed the stems. So deeper, in the blue bowl you have three cups of Chatak's ground chana. Chatak's ground chana is essential for today's recipe and can be substituted with Chatak's chana basin or Chatak's split peas powder depending on your taste preference. Today, we are using Chatak's brown chana because it is mild in flavor. So here we have about two and a half tablespoons of Chatak green seasoning, two and a half tablespoons of Chatak garlic seasoning, one teaspoon of Chatak mild curry powder, one teaspoon of Chatak roasted ground jeera, and a half teaspoon of Chatak's black pepper. At this point, we're going to bring all of this together with a little bit of water. I'm just going to give you a spoon so that you can help me spoon some of this batter a little at a time as we spread it over our leaf and we create our layers before rolling, right? Now this batter acts as our glue, right? So using your hands, traditionally they use their hands, spread this all through. Make sure and coat your leaf nicely because our batter carries a lot of flavor. We're going to use another leaf and of course kind of crack the stem so that it can sit nice and smooth over the previous leaf. You can use broken leaves to fit this together, almost plaiting the leaves one on top of each other to form these layers. I think that brings us to the end of how big I want my roll to be. You're going to curl these leaves just in. Bring this in a tight roll. The tighter you can roll your sahina, the better. Deeps, I'll take this side and you'll take that side. And we'll roll going, right? We'll roll going forward. Right, let's go. So pinch and pull back just a little bit. Now this sahina roll is pretty small compared to how we would make it at home, right? So I'm going to set this one aside because we have one already prepared and I've kept it inside of the fridge just to keep those layers together and not have it fall apart. Here is your roll that we have prepared already so that means that we're ready to fry basically. And to cut our sahina rolls, we're going to use a serrated blade, long blade knife. Begin at the end of the roll and with even pressure, cut through the sahina and then you'll see all of those layers that would have been formed from the act of rolling the sahina. So I'm just going to set these aside until we're ready to fry. So basically what we're looking for in size is just about half inch in thickness because these are going to shrink very nicely in the pot. Now, we're going to use the paste that we would have set aside and just coat the sahina, make sure it's compact and tight, and drop them into our oil. Yeah? Today we're using lotus, soya bean cooking oil, and we're going to fry up these sahinas so nicely. Let's coat this nicely with our butter. Make sure it's well covered. And we want this to cook all the way through. This sahina can be served by itself or it can be served with an accompaniment and perfect accompaniments for these sahinas are chatak salmon chutney, mango chutney and chatak shadow benny chutney. I love chatak salmon chutney. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. So we can go ahead and remove them once they're golden brown. That's exactly what you're looking for. Let's put 
perfect as it is. So, we're finished frying up all our sahinas and if you have remaining batter, you can feel free to use this coating any of your favorite vegetables including cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, sweet pepper and just giving them a deep fry and you have a perfect snack. We're going to give these a taste even before we go into that curry stew. Just about two tablespoons, enough to coat the bottom of the pan and on a medium high heat we're going to add two teaspoons of brown sugar to begin our stew and this is just going to caramelize very nicely. Once this begins to dissolve and bubble up in that oil, that's when we're going to add all our aromatics. Half cup of onion chopped half teaspoon of chatax brown jeera, two teaspoons of chatax mild curry, two tablespoons of chatax local green seasoning, two tablespoons of chatax garlic seasoning, and of course, salt to taste of, of chopped onion. Let's give that a turn, be careful not to get burned. And this is the stew part of our curry stew. And next, we're going to add our Chata Mild Curry Masala. And this is a curry element of our curry stew. And we're going to build on this even further with the Chata Garlic Seasoning. Now, Chata Local Green Seasoning. Let's give that a mix again. And to tie this all together, we're going to add some ground jeera. As the curry has cooked, all the elements of seasoning has been added. I'm going to add two cups of tomato puree. Let's give that a mix. I'm going to add a little bit of water. That's just about a half cup of water to help form the base of our sauce. Mm -hmm. So let's give that a turn. And now we add salt to taste. So deep, here we have allowed our sauce, our gravy, to boil very nicely for about three to five minutes and one by one we add our sahinas. So here I'm just gently either pressing the sahinas so that they're properly coated in the sauce or I can just spoon the sauce over it to make sure that they're thoroughly covered, right? So at this point, you just want to give the sahina a cover and allow it to steam for one minute. So I'm just going to keep my hand here, the pressure is going to build up in that pot. And it's going to open the sahina and all the, those, all juices, those juices, juices, when you remove the cover, it's going to nice. soak all the way in. Wow, that's simply delicious. Simply delicious. I'm like trying not to squish them, but they're solid. Yeah. They, you know, it's easy to take them out. They hold together nicely. So, let's dig in. Bite in. Oh, ready? definitely, yeah. yeah. The sweetness of the curry stew. It has this firm texture, mm -hmm. it, but it's also very soft and, and succulent. And delectable, yeah. yeah. This was so delicious. Oh, it so was. what can we eat this with? Can we have it with anything? This is a perfect accompaniment to any rice roti dish. You can eat it by itself. You can eat it as a side. I mean, it's so versatile. So thanks for joining us for yet another episode of 103FM's Diwali Khana. My name is Siddhi Sankar. I am Deepa Yankaran. Thank you.